Okay, team, I got a question for you. But before we get to that, we are... Tina and Norm, and we talk all things retirement, lifestyle, and travel. And if you're new to our channel, we would really be honored if you would consider subscribing to our channel and giving us that thumbs up so you'll be notified about our new content in the future. What's the question, Norm? Well, I'm glad you asked, Tina. <laughs> question I have is, do you know what the three stages of retirement is? Oh, I can answer <laughs> that. And I definitely know what the first stage of retirement is. What's that, Tim? That's the go-go years. Oh, you bet it. Yay! <laughs> We've been go-go-going. <laughs> and you know what, Norm? We're right in the middle of that. <laughs> we are, courtesy of the pandemic. Absolutely. <laughs> so we... We see retirement broken up into three different decades, if we're all fortunate enough to get there. The first decade, we recommend retiring when you're 60. Why work any longer? Yes. Retirement's fun, isn't it, Tim? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and at 60 years old, you're going to be the fittest you have been in retirement. It's the early years. So it's the years, if you want to travel, get out there and start traveling. Absolutely. And th there is lots of ways to do this, isn't there, Norm? When we first um, retired, we basically made, we looked at everything that was involved, the finances. We made a bucket list, didn't we, of what we wanted to do? I think that's important. We, we, we've always been in sales, so uh, a lot of our life revolves around planning and being prepared. Yes. So we came up with, as Tina said, a bucket list. And we wrote down all the places that we would really want to go to if we had the opportunity. Doesn't mean to say we're going to get to all of them. But we made quite a list, didn't we, Tim? Absolutely, we did. And one of the ways that we looked at it too, Norm, was that we looked at the financial side of how we were going to be able to do it, mm -hmm. didn't we? Um, we wanted to put together a plan and remember, Norm, we had that discussion that we wanted to also take our CPP early, so that would help us with traveling. Help fund it, yeah. And um, So what we basically did is we decided in the first couple of years that we would go away for 30 days, because that's what our travel insurance covered. So we started looking for trips 30 days or less. So they worked out between two weeks to uh, 30 days. Yeah. And a lot of those were based around cruises because we enjoyed the cruises. and oh, We loved them, didn't we? <laughs> and we're very active in photography and travel photography. So it was a way that we could get to, depending on the cruise, six to 20 different cities yeah. um, quite quickly. Yeah. So we would be doing these cruises, uh, our, our favorite length of time is 14 to 21 days, mm -hmm. um, and we were kept really busy with the photography. Then the other type of holidays that we liked in? Well, we, we started to find out that there were some super deals that we could get on, um, we signed up for companies like Travel Zoo and Azores Getaway, mm -hmm. and there was an English company in Trafalgar that offered some amazing deals. They were like a seven-day trip where you got everything. You got the, these were impulse purchases. <laughs> they would come through on an email yeah. and you'd think, uh, wow. do we want to go to Edinburgh for $5.99 yeah. with included hotel and return flights from Canada? Yeah. Yes, and please. <laughs> And even breakfast, Norm, they included. They did, yes, you're right. They, in fact, the deals, these seven-day deals, were cheaper than what we could actually buy a flight for. So, so what we went, were some of those deals that we did, Well, too? some of those we did um, Tessera, one of the Azore Islands. Did uh, um, Iceland. We did Iceland, and we also did Edinburgh in Scotland. That mm -hmm. was an amazing trip. We loved those. Those were all less than $700 uh, each yeah. trip for That's a week, a, basically. Those amazing deals, weren't they? It was. And we, we thought, too, that maybe people would like to know some of the places we put on our list, Norm. Okay. Um, Where have we been, Teen, on our go-go years? We have done a river cruise from Budapest to Prague, which was amazing. We went to China, and uh, that was not the usual China trip. That was down in the southwest of the country, going up towards the Himalayas. 
We have done Scandinavia. We've done... Uh... <laughs> I've forgotten the name of it. Uh, Alaska. Oh, yeah, that was wonderful. That We did a cruise there, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Um, we did another one, which I'm going to put the two places kind of together because it was a cruise that we did that involved Australia and New Zealand. That was brilliant, wasn't it? It was. And uh, obviously that. visiting England and uh, Portugal. Yeah. Um, oh, we've done a couple of transatlantic cruises, which we really loved being able to get from one place to the other, didn't we? Yeah, we've had uh, yeah. two. So uh, yeah. our last one was from Denmark. Oh, yeah. And, um, that was amazing, wasn't it? To New York. Yeah. And then the other one, Portugal. Uh, yeah, we did Lisbon and we ended up in Boston, I think. That's right. And amazing trips. Yeah. Um, another really fabulous trip, Norm, was, remember, down the Panama Canal. Oh, that was exceptional. <gasps> and then, then there was that cruise in Europe that uh, we got to go to Morocco. Oh, that was amazing. Yeah. So that it, was it sailed really... around the basin of uh, the Mediterranean. That was awesome, it wasn't was. it? So we, anyway. We've been to some fabulous places. Those are some go-go yeah. years. And what's the next stage of retirement, teen? Well, we think the next one, which will be between 70 and 80, is going to be the slow go years. And, and we have to give credit <laughs> to one of our viewers because um, on a recent video, she actually wrote these names, which we just fell in love with. So it's, uh, it's courtesy of one of our yeah. viewers that this idea came about. So this is the slow go. Slow go, yes. yes. So this will be 70 to 80. Yes. Um, we haven't got there yet, so we can't speak firsthand. But we but, do have some friends in that age group. Yeah. And we've heard some of their stories. Yes, that's very true. And I guess you are likely to want to slow down, possibly for various reasons. I think, you know, the... We might not, in those years, want to do the 23-hour flight to uh, Australia no. or the Far East. No, because I do remember when we did Australia, that was a long flight, wasn't it? It, it, um, it was. So we might just feel happier, hey, Norm, we're doing like six to eight hours doing the shorter trip. Yeah, the, the shorter, transatlantic, yeah, the uh, sort of going to like Europe. And another thing that is right in the slow go years is that as you get older, um, the cost of travel insurance, of course, goes up. Now, the plan we're on at the moment um, actually stops when Norm is the primary card holder. When he hits 75, it stops. And it seems yeah. such a long, long way away. <laughs> oh, it's a long way away for me, Norm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's something that we will look at, but we are looking to take another policy, slightly different, aren't we? A more all-inclusive one with this COVID stuff. So that's another reason to really take that 60 to 70 uh, time frame because the travel insurance is going to be so much more affordable. Mm -hmm. And basically, when you get to 75, it all comes to an end, and then it's shopping for sort of more speciality travel insurance that covers elderly people. But the other thing too, Norm, is, and we've known this from some friends that we have, where as you get slightly older, we might even return to cruising because you get the whole package there. You get the security, you get to visit places, it's like uh, a float And, and you hotel. only have to uh, un undo your bag one time. Absolutely. And you can get the insurance from them. From so the I line. think if you're between 70 and 80, that could be a really good way. I could see us maybe going back to cruising then. And yeah. one of our friends said that depending on their energy levels during the cruise, because cruising can be quite uh, strenuous. <laughs> no kidding, when it keeps stopping you know, at different places. Rushing off the ship <laughs> and going on uh, on tour. So what they would often do is, if they'd, be, they'd been to many of these places throughout <laughs> their lives, so they would get to a port and perhaps the weather was nice, and they'd just stay on the ship, and they would enjoy the quiet and the sunshine, and, of course, they can have a restaurant meal. And they would do that instead of getting off and doing the tour. So those are the slow-go years, and it's being aware that there are limitations with your health as well. Maybe you are starting to slow down a little bit. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. 
<laughs> now, the final chapter. <laughs> oh, this is getting into the 80 and 90, and this is the... <laughs> We're going to call that the no-go years. Oh, oh I, I can see that coming. <laughs> and that's something that we just hope we both get there, don't we? We really <laughs> do, yeah. So that's 80 to 90. And um, having said that, my dad, when he was still uh, 90 years old, was still traveling to France. And, so uh, there's hope and, for us yet, And hey, spending no? <laughs> winters there. So, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a mental outlook. You don't know how your health is no. going to hold up. But if you're healthy, there's right. there's Why lots not? of people we hear about yeah. in their 80s and 90s traveling yeah. and adventure traveling. Yeah. And we hope we're one of them. And we do, don't we? So I think those are the three stages of retirement for travel and for energy. Now, we, we have talked about travel, but equally so, those mm. years can apply to gardening, landscaping. Oh, uh, yeah. All the different things you could do around a home if you had it too, isn't it? That's Just right. Just having that extra energy to be able to do and it. And some of the people yeah. who are in the no-go years that we know, they, they just like to go to restaurants that are yeah. maybe in the next town. They have yeah. a favorite restaurant and they'll go there as, as, as their trip out. Um, or a show or something, won't yeah. they? Like live entertainment or something. So. so anyway, those are the three stages of retirement that we identified with the help of one of our viewers. So... Thank you for doing that. Yes. And thanks for watching. And we hope that everybody is staying safe. And keeping well. Until the next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.